looking for my hat, friend. Don't you poop on my hat. Hey, hey. Okay, look what I have gotten in the mail. Strange how things work these days. This is about, I don't know, a couple of bucks more than a rebuild kit. You remember you used to buy rebuild kits? Yeah, so just replacing the whole carb. Hot wire. Where I grew up, when I grew up, we had exposed, we had wire that was uh, fiberglass or a cloth insulated going from ceramic to ceramic. Cloth insulated? Yeah. I'm not kidding you not. And, uh, and that was how wire was insulated. My no code has changed. Never do that. Always have track. Just to say that. Bob, Bob Villa would have me hung. Always have track for your wiring. I like the white and straight print. Ground your wiring. And if you don't have fingers, leather fingers, just use pliers, right? See how you ground that? A voila! Now we can test this. Do you want to test it for me? Let's see. Oh. That's very cool. And it was a pain in the butt getting in, the, in this soffit. Indeed. The things we take for granted. Now, look how many tools I have employed in doing this one, one outlet, basically. A lot of tools. Uh, drills, drill bits, uh, pliers, wire cutters, wire nuts, wires, uh, a, a, a pull for my wire fish tape to get my wire through my soffit. A lot of tools, a lot of materials went into this. So if you could get, if you could get an electrician to come to your house and do all this work, put in one little outlet for you and maybe wire a switch for 150 bucks, you should feel guilty. You should pay the man more than that. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, again. We take so much for granted in this modern world. My doctor said that for our ages, that I'm still so virile and my wife is so healthy and youthful that we run the risk of, well, having kids at our age. <laughs> I had a vasectomy. Did you know? No. I kid you not. Lucky dog. <laughs> no about me. You're a good boy. Yeah. Tico, Tico, Tico. Tico, Tico, Tico. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bubby. Dinner. <laughs> Part of it, anyway. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you about the time that I ate two pieces of string and they came out tied? Shit you not. While I am discussing real estate, this is the this is the agreement, this is the offer that this the buyers have, have brought to us for our building. And I insisted on due diligence, money. Um, that's basically a deposit. And their broker, who they hired, we're not paying their broker, said in all his years, as many years of experience as a real commercial realtor. He's never heard of due diligence money being negotiated in a contract. Yeah. Could you imagine <laughs> saying something like that? Uh, like, oh, that was just what? Uh, that was unethical. Yeah, for him to be saying that is ridiculous. Basically, you can negotiate whatever you want. What he said want. was, we don't do due diligence. In it's not customary. And yeah. I, we didn't care because yeah. I demanded due diligence money. Yeah. And so if you want to buy my property. Everything's negotiable. Exactly. Or exactly. everything's negotiable. And for that matter, you can write your own contract. People use these because they're vetted, in this case, North, Ca North Carolina documents. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know that they're legal and they've already been tested. Uh, but you basically could write up your own document. You could handwrite a, uh, an agreement and a closing contract. 
So don't be fooled. Don't be a sucker. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do what you want to do. Negotiate what you want. Get what you want. Be a lion. Don't be a gazelle. Mm. Show you this. Uh, I have improvised. And I found this at the dollar store. It's uh, the thing that you would put smoking pellets in, wood, for your barbecue. And you just pull the end off of it. And I've stuffed some, uh, these are the ends of some chicken wings we had the other night. I put those in there and the crabs can't get at it. They can obviously smell it, taste it, and get at it a little bit. But the problem we have here is the little tiny crabs, they get in these traps and they'll eat all the bait. Well, they can get near it, but not really take it all away. So it's a wonderful improvisation. Uh, to help me catch more crabs with less meat. You can see the oysters spitting. You see that? <laughs> what are you doing? So look at this. I've not used this thing, but a couple of times. You bought it for me, I guess. Look oh, that. yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's a gravy pisser. <laughs> because I don't know the name of it. <laughs> so you can just keep the oils separated, the fat separated. You can't help it. Look at this. That's going to be a good gravy right there. Mm, just like an old man. <laughs> All right, like me. Can I interest you in some produce, ma'am? <laughs> nice lady. She doesn't look organic. Right. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I found one that was more accurate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I assist you in your shopping? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be 13 soon. <laughs> oh. Some fingers, my lady? No? Can't interest you in anything. Good thing I don't really work here. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, Jen. Uh, uh, quick, get me out of the fruits. Should I get this or this? That. Special. Epsom salt. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say, you say by N word. Okay. <laughs> You don't be racist. <laughs> Jeez, Jennifer, come on, get with the times. Vine gar is over here. Bulletproof and vital protein. I, f I found the vine gar. <laughs> what? Where'd you put my purse? Will you stop accusing me? Of I things? know you put it somewhere. Where is you it? do not know anything. Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! You're accusing me of things. You stop that right no, it's now. Somewhere around here. You you're, you're, tr you're triggering me. But, hey, leave that alone. Everybody relax. That's what you get for leaving your purse unattended. I was watching it kind of. This is 35 cents. Oh, I suppose you want to get some Aunt Jemima now, huh? Her. Wait. You stop it. Yeah, you need her? Oh, you want me to tell her to wait? Yeah. She wants you to wait for half an hour so <laughs> she can pack up some packages. Hey, I gotta come back that car here. No. You do? Yeah. I have a question. What's that, honey? If I pack something in a priority uh, padded envelope uh -huh. and I put an express, a priority express label on it, will it get there tomorrow? Well, that's not that bad. You're so sweet. Because, I mean, I go down Driftwood and I come right back by going down. Uh, but you don't need to because i, I got to bring it there anyway. You That's a nice male lady. Really? Always? So nice. Um, I got to go to the post office because I've got a next day air thing okay. that I want to make sure he puts the tag around so that it gets there tomorrow.
Mama's feeding the babies. And the little bunnies over there. And there she be. And she goes. Happened to walk out at the right time. Yeah, I had a dream night before last that I came out here to have my coffee. And I looked out over there at the land that had sold. And they were somebody was building an, on the back of their house facing this way an amphitheater. It looked like a Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the two young sons come out on the stage and plug in their guitars. And they said, oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> put up the for sale signs. <laughs> we got to go. Daringly dark. I've been losing so much weight I have to make adjustments to my belt, but I don't have a leather punch. Let's put a hole right there. Get all that weight I've lost. I tell you, more now than ever, we all need to be making some effort to be growing our own food. It, it should be a responsibility for those of us who can. I mean, even people that live in cities should be growing stuff in their windows if possible. This morning, we're going to take a look at some coffee roasting equipment. These are small coffee roasters, craft roasting equipment. This right here, we're going to take a look at this. But this is a sample roaster, a bat, small batch. You know, if you're if you're bringing in beans that you want to try out. This tomato is not <laughs> taken off the way I'd like it to. So I've got some compost and some ash from the fire pit. Just gonna help it, uh, help it along. Yeah, I told you those Scientologists were weirdos. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, a small oh. flamethrower is another fun toy. You can get your hands on one there. There's a few different makers out there. Hey, one of today's many projects. I'm changing the oil, the air filter I changed, and I'm changing the fuel filter on this Briggs and Strat. I'm just astounded that there is no oil port on the side of these engines anymore. You have to literally turn it over to drain it. It's crazy. So I'm going to I'm going to clean out this uh, carburetor real quick and change the oil. See if I can get it started. First I got to I got to get this I've decided to put a split, a mini split unit those things are awesome and this is uh i'm building a platform had a bad storm and uh, now here is a look at the completed project of the air conditioning system it is fantastic of course it's a daikin look at this line hide isn't this cool the drain and the refrigerant uh, lines. Do you hear a noise? Do you hear a noise up there? <laughs> good, uh, good test run. It always runs like that. Nearly finished. I'm telling you, that looks like the south of the border thing on I-95. Oh yeah. <laughs> Five more miles. <laughs> Come see Pedro. Just. It's been a long time since you sausage a place. Sausage a place? Sausage a place. I love this 
packaging. Oh, look at those eyes. Poe was trying to get that for you. He trying met. To get this? He met the USP driver. USP. UPS. UPS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. So to read in tandem, I'm going from this this wire, this negative wire that goes to the motor, right? That's so. These are the this this runs the whole circuit, and I think 46 or 46.4 or something like that is 10 percent. Uh, uh, this is three days later. The snakes have come or a snake, or some vermin. Man, get out of here, you pileated pecker. The environmentalists will come tear our house down. Look at that. That blue bird does not want him around here. Oh, that is funny. And he's, you're so afraid of bluebirds, it's hilarious. Stand your ground. I got no ground, man. <laughs> he is not giving up. He says, look, dude, I'm grabbing some breakfast. Piss off. Hey. I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, uh-huh. Bluebird, bluebird, uh-huh. Bluebird, bluebird.